Welcome back guys. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about the cohesin and condensin proteins. And you heard this name many times uh, during the cell division and all these processes in the chromosome and things that cohesin and condensins are there. Now, what are these proteins and what are the functionality of these proteins actually? Uh, so, uh, for the basic thing, both of these proteins acts as a molecule cross-linker. So, simply they are molecular molecular cross-linker. So, molecular cross-linker means they can cross-link other molecules with each other. Okay, so molecular glue, you can say. But both of them are molecular glue. So, that's why we are comparing about cohesin and co condensing. But if you look at the cohesin, so let's talk here about cohesin here. So, if you look at cohesin, cohesin is a type of inter crosslinker inter crosslinker remember on the other hand condensin is condensing is a intra crosslinker that is the biggest difference cohesin inter condensin intra now what that actually means so, when it say cross-linking in this case, they actually cross-link chromosome with each other, the sister chromatids with each other. So, if you look at here, in case of cohesin, what we see is that those sister chromatids, so the sister chromatids will be held tightly together with the help of cohesin. So, this are cohesin molecules. They will hold those chromatids together with one, one with another. Okay, they are holding it together. Though there are uh, centrioles there, uh, not uh, sorry, uh, centrum. Uh, in this case, they have all this. Okay, so they have centromere there, not centriole. My mistake. So cent centromere is there. So centromere is responsible for the segregation of chromosome, but actually. Here, those sister chromatids are held together tightly, attached together with the help of this cohesin molecules. They act like a glue. Now, what are the function of condensing? Condensing in turn simply let's say the condensing is in green in color here. like this. So, if you look at here, in this case, chromosomes, two different sister chromatids are linked together with cohesin. So, it is an interaction between two separate chromatids. That is why we call it an inter cross link between two different. In this case, we can see that condensin is attached with the same uh, chromatids. In this chromatids condensin are attached, in this also condensin are attached. So, in this case, this is inside the same chromatid. That is why intra crosslinker. That is the name came. Intra means in the same, inter means between two. So, that is the difference between their functionality. So, now if you imagine this is the scenario during which phase, if I tell you this is the scenario during metaphase. In the metaphase, remember during the cell cycle, the metaphase, if I draw the cell, all those, all those chromosomes are arranged and centrioles are placed. Let us say these are the two terminal of the centrioles. They will attach those microtubules to the centromere of the chromosome. So, this is the metaphase and the alignment of the chromosomes in the center of the metaphasic cell is called the metaphase plate. Now, after that, they will segregate those chromatids from each other. For that segregation, they need the presence of condensin. So, normally, when they are arranged at metaphase condition, it is due to the presence of cohesin. Cohesin acts as a glue to hold those sister chromatids together, not to be separated in the metaphase condition. Remember. So, this is during metaphase. After that, what, what is the rule is the condensing will come. 
So if I draw condensing with this green color, condensing will come and it will kick this cohesin out of this scenario. So then cohesin is out. So all the cohesins that are present between uh, sister chromatids are now replaced with the presence of condensing, which will surround all those sister chromatids properly. Once they surround it properly, now during this anaphase condition, they will segregate those sister chromatids with the help of microtubule that are attached to the opposite pole from the microtubule organizing center. So this is how segregation of chromatid takes place and, and during the segregation of chromatids the role of cohesin and condensin is hugely important. Right? Now if you want to know about the structure of condensin, I can tell you there are different varieties of condensin present. Mostly these condensin are found in eukaryotic cells. There are two types of condensin that we can see condensin 1 and condensin 2. Condensin 1 and two, both of them are present. Now, in this case, condensing structure, it's a multimeric protein actually. This protein con consists of five different subunits. Among those subunits, two of the subunits are called SMC. So, the structure, if I draw, it will look something like this. this these are the subunit. These are the SMC, SMC2, SMC4. These are the two different subunits, SMC2 and SMC4. Structural maintenance of chromosome, that is the full form of SMC. SMCs are present, two SMC. And then both of those SMCs are attached with here, with a kinesin. Remember kinesin is a motor protein. Why we require a motor protein? Because we need those chromosomes to slide along from each other. So if there is no motor protein in this position with cohesin, what we know that they will be very much rigid. So if we try to drag them from each other, it might break the chromosome. To have a flexibility during the anaphasic separation, we need to have the presence of kinesin here in the structure of cohesin. And then 2 SMC, 1 kinesin 3 and another 2 subunit are there and those subunit are consisting of another domain called heat domain, H-E-A-T, heat domain. So this is the structure of condensin 1. This is a condensin 1. Okay, so this is the cohesin and condensin and the functionality of them is to maintain the chromosome the sister chromatids is the metaphasic plate and then to separate those chromatids uh, to the opposite pole in the anaphase. So if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, share this video with your friends in social network and thank you.